Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is probably going to be my last long braided hair tutorial because I'm going to get all my hair cut off tomorrow. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time. Um, so we all know that I wear hair extensions, but my natural hair uh, sits probably around this area right here like this is all my natural hair I don't have any top extension pieces clipped in because we are going to be braiding so that's why you can see so much more of my real hair but I'm going to get it chopped tomorrow and colored I will reveal it to you guys when it's finished but I'm excited I just feel like I've had the same kind of hair forever and oh girl needs a change I figured that I would do one last long braided hair tutorial I will be doing probably short hair tutorials soon I'm excited so yeah I had a couple requests for this. It is a French braid into a fishtail braid. Kind of like the two last videos that I did, except the first one that I did was like a Dutch braid side action happening, um, and like my fishtail braid. This time we're going to just do, this whole part is going to be a French braid, and then we're going to fishtail all the way down. I know that it may seem a little intimidating at first, but I promise you guys, if you just keep practicing, you will totally get the hang of it. It is just a repetitive process, so you just kind of have to do it a couple times, and then your brain kind of clicks into just doing it on its own. So I'm going to stop talking, and we're going to jump right in. So I already have in my hair clipped in. I have in two, no, I have in, no, how many do I have in? I have in two pieces of the lily hair. It's so thick that this is like two pieces of hair. So um, I have them clipped in low so that I, it doesn't interfere with any of the braiding up here. And I have already gone through and brushed my hair, but I'll just do it one more time. Um, so you're gonna part your hair to wherever you feel comfortable parting it. I'm gonna take mine pretty far over. So when I do side braids, I do usually just pin this part up so I have like a little volume here to where everything's not flat on my head. And then remember to take the bobby pin and place it curvy side down. That's going to give your hair a lot more hold. It's going to work a lot better. Okay, so once you've sectioned the first three parts on the top, all you're going to do is braid normally. So we're going to take our front piece, place it over the middle. The same with the back piece, place it over the middle. Do that one more time. We're going to take our front piece, place it over the middle, and then our back piece and place it over the middle. Then we're going to start adding hair. So we're going to pick up some hair from the front section, add it to the front braid strand, and place that over the middle. And then you want to pick up hair from the back and place that over the middle as well, and just keep repeating the process. So we're pulling hair from the front, placing it over the top of the middle section, grabbing hair from the back, adding it to our back section, and pulling it over the middle section. So really the difference is, is we're pulling our hair over our middle section, and for a Dutch braid, you would pull your hair under the middle section. Sorry that I had to do a voiceover in this part, but I guess I just got too into the braid and just, I just stopped talking. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let you guys watch because it's like I said, very repetitive. So we're just gonna keep grabbing hair and pulling it over our middle section from the front and back. So now we're just going to kind of pull this part so we have a little more volume before we move on to our fishtail. So I'm just kind of pushing up and pulling my braid, but not, I'm kind of being a little rough, but not too rough. It's just so it has a little bit of volume in it. Then what you want to do is you want to just hold these two pieces of your braid and then kind of grab all the rest of your hair and section it into two halves. You want to hold a little bit tighter onto this one just because we have this braid happening on the side. Now that we have our two pieces of hair separated, we're just going to fishtail as normal. So just like my other video, we're just going to alternate pulling pieces across and adding them to the new side. I'm being extra careful to hold this part tight just for now until we get it going because I don't want to loosen this braid too much. So again, we're taking a piece from the back and we're going, oh, that's not from the back, that is from the front, piece from the back. And then we're going to pull it across and add it to here. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> So I like to alternate the size of the hair that I pull across because I like my fishtail braid just to look a little more um, messy and boho. So if you want to do each strand that you pull across the same size or alternate sizes, totally up to you. 
but some I just kind of take what I could get. <laughs> So again, we're just pulling hair from the back of one section and adding it across to the other section. And we're just doing this all the way till we get to the bottom. So this is just super repetitive as most braids are. So just practice and I swear you will get it. Like it's seriously the easiest thing in the world once you know how to do it. So just keep practicing. try to keep holding it tight as you're going down if you notice mine's kind of like got this little bloop right here it's because I, I let it go so just try to keep holding it tight keeping it in its place just keep going just keep going with a little elastic which I searched high and low to find this guy so we're just going to secure the ends or the end, we only have one end. And then I'm just going to kind of push it and wiggle it around. Just making it a little larger. So I'm just pinning my braid so that it stays up where I want it. Um, there's not really a technique to it, I kind of just go in and then where I feel like it needs to be pinned, I'll pin it. some hairs down around this front part and then we're just going to spray everything because we just had this pin but I was like eh, I don't want to pin it voila <laughs> so that is it for our French fishtail braid absolutely love this I love having all my hair off of my face and having it all braided to the side it's a great style if you are out in the summertime if you're going to theme parks if you're going camping if you're just doing anything and you have a lot of hair and you want to look cute but you want to keep it all out of your hair all out of your hair all out of your face, then this is the hairstyle for you. I have an announcements to let you guys know. If you live in my Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater area, then I'm going to be on the news Friday morning at 9 o'clock on Channel 10. I'll have all the info listed in the bottom. If you guys want to watch, I'm going to be very nervous. It's live TV. But I think it's cool. So that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Thanks, guys. Bye.